Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Tenley Lilligard. And I'm Kayla Taylor. Today is Wednesday, January 8th, and we're back to bring you the news. Attention all students interested in competing in a triathlon this year. The 2014 race has been scheduled to the CO Triathlon Club will be having an important meeting January 14th during first lunch in HJ1. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Hightower. Attention anyone interested in playing in the men's golf team this spring. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, January 14th in Coach Milgram's room, HLA After School. There will be tryouts and cuts this year. Tryout dates and spots will need to be signed up for ahead of time. If you can't attend the meeting, please stop by Coach Milgram's room after next Tuesday to pick up the information you missed. Conditioning for this year's girls' soccer program will start Tuesday, January 14th at the stadium. You must bring a copy of your physical and emergency information. If you have any questions, see Coach Candy or Coach Paul around campus. Are you interested in joining the Wolfpack TV family next year? If you answered yes, then come see Mr. Young's in HE2 and get an application. Let's take a look into one of the many electives on campus, Film as Literature. Film as Literature is uh, a class where we look at film and learn to read a film as if it is a text or a piece of literature. We're mainly looking at what the director is telling us in the film. We're looking at directorial techniques that a, that a director would use. Uh, we're looking at camera angles, camera movement, uh, lighting, um, all of those kinds of things, those kinds of decisions that directors make that sort of give us information about the film. Um, we're, we're less looking at uh, sort of the, the plot of the film and more about the visuals and those kinds of cues that we get from, from the directors in the film. We watch a lot of different types of films. We watch some contemporary films, but mainly we focus on more sort of classic films from the classic kind of golden age of Hollywood, say from the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, I'm a big fan of those kinds of movies, and we really see those film techniques in those kinds of films. We watch a lot of Hitchcock films, because I'm a big fan of director Alfred Hitchcock, but we watch other films as well. Now let's hear more about this cold weather we've been having with Evan and Michael. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Michael Anderson, and it is January 8th, the first weather show of the year and the term. I'm excited. I hope you are, too. But first, before I get started, I want to give a huge shout-out to anybody that came to school at 8 o'clock this morning and yesterday at 8 o'clock, because you guys are the all-star all team. Let's get with this weather. It's going to be warm all week long. You know, I've dreamed about this weather one day. I have weather dreams occasionally, and 60 degrees is just in my dream. It's going to be perfect all week long. It'll be a blast. Anyways... We, what we really need, though, is there's going to be no rain, but we do need rain because I got TP twice this weekend, and it's stuck in the tree, and I need rain to get it down. And I know one of you guys are the ones that did it, so I'm coming for you, but I don't know who you are yet. And anyways, that's for the weather. Leadership asked me to talk about the Sadie's Dance, but I can't say the weather for it because it's three weeks away. But in the gym, I can. So at 7 o'clock at start time, it is going to be about like 60 degrees, you know, 0% chance of rain. But then we get to 10 o'clock inside the gym, you know, 98 degrees, 100 percent rain. Fun word, no, not fun word, word of the day, condensation right there, 100 percent chance of rain. My name is Michael Anderson. Over to Evan for a special weather report. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Evan Bautista, here to give you your weather news update. America is caught in the firm grip of the cold miser, with the Midwest and East Coast taking the worst of it, reaching the temperatures lower than the Antarctic. Frozen toilet water in Chicago, frozen rats on the streets of NYC, and frozen football fields like Lambeau Field for the 49ers and Packers face off in tundra rivaling temperatures in the taiga, ending with the 49ers win. Not only is the cold keeping people in home, it's also keeping them in prison. A Kentucky prisoner on the lam stopped at a motel in Lexington and asked the owner to call the police, said he could turn himself in and escape the 20 below winds he was facing in nothing more than prison garb. Well, that's it for your weather news update. I'm Evan Bautista. Back to you, anchors. Performing Arts will be hosting the 4th Annual Winter Art Showcase in the Culinary Building on Thursday, January 16th from 5.30 to 7.30. The show will feature works from art, ceramics, and photo classes. Come see what the CO Arts has to offer. 
The Winter Sadie's Dance is on January 25th. The theme is black and white and it's semi-formal, which is homecoming attire. Tickets are now on sale. Yearbooks can still be bought in the student store or on www.yearbookforever.com. The price is now $100. COHS was recently entered in the Teen to Teen Safe Driving Campaign. After the committee's review, we won. Congratulations and remember to always practice safe driving. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Kayla Taylor. And I'm Ted Lilligard. Be a 10 today, Wolf Pack. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday, Wolf Pack. pack.